That's a warm up belt. Yep, that warm up, baby. All right, on this day, y'all, I got in here with my barber, Ski the Beast Barber. This guy weighed about a buck, 85 soaking wet, but dead lifting about 530, squatting 350, and back is one of his favorite exercises. So I thought I'd get in here and do a little training with him. This guy likes to warm up with like eight sets of 20. And he still had energy throughout the workout. So he's getting up here, getting his next set. And then we go over there from, this is kind of more of a, a, a modified row. They don't really have it where you can stand up off the floor and do the row. They got a little apparatus you stand on. Guys, I would suggest if you can't get a real T-bar row, do not get on this machine. I actually hurt my back in this video on this machine. It's very tough to keep good form because you're on a platform with your feet elevated. And so, I mean, you can make gains with it, but weight that you probably can normally do heavy, you're not really going to be able to do it uh, with the consistency you'd be able to do if you were standing on the floor doing a T-bar row. And so here I go, just getting my warm-up in. I'm asking him which grip did he use, and he, he likes to go wide. So we did wide. And see, I'm keeping fairly good form. I would like to see my knee a little bent, just a little more, but that is probably about the best form you're going to get on this machine. Go ahead and get up there, get yourself about 10 to 12 warm up. Next, my man Skeet the Barber, the beast from the east, wanted to go ahead and show y'all how strong he is. This guy is strong. So he's up here with what's that? One, two, three, four, five plates. I had to get him motivated, give him a slap on the back. Watch this guy. Bam, bam, bam. It ain't nothing to him. It's like he's riding a broomstick going back to the, the west, getting them in. All right? Now on my go, of which I shouldn't have done this, but I did it anyway. Guys, this is a classic education in rounding your back even though you can move the weight, it ain't about that. And so, we're gonna get it, but watch the background that goes on with this. So, bam, get it, get it. No bend in the knee. It's all like traps, bicep, some back. A little bit of help from my barber, but I got it done. But guys, that is an education in what not to do. I suggest you don't do that. Next, we go to pull down. Keeping good form, guys. We don't want you to get hurt. Keep your form as good as possible. So here I'm getting some good clean reps with the pull down. I did about we did about four sets. We went as heavy as possible. We kept the reps at least eight reps. Kept it at least eight. Gym was kind of packed that day too certain times at the gym when you go going goals guys you can expect it to be packed all right next we got my main man ski and as you can see he's pretty much about to try to do the whole daggone rack I told y'all guys this guy is a monster bam look at him just cranking out reps cranking them out from the top to the bottom I mean if that was a lawn a lawnmower vertically he beat them pull the engine out of it this guy is raw bone strong. Alamance County. Alright, I decided to get me a heavy set in. And you know, this was starting to get heavy. We had done done a whole lot of sets before we got to this point. We still managed to get, get it on in. Got through the workout. Then we'll go ahead and we finish with some rear delt. This is good to be done on back day or shoulder day. But we decided to hit it on back day. And again, like I said, Skeet just moving half of the stack nice and easy. And guys, this is a real, real, real good back workout. It's going to burn you up. It's going to help do some building. But it'll get you where you want to be. If you're trying to get cut for the summer, if you're trying to get cut for the winter, throw all these exercises in there. And they'll have you right. Have you busting out of your t-shirts. Here I go getting my set in with my CrossFit William Power shirt. Shouts out to Will. 
going back for CrossFit Games 2015, which I'm sure he'll be victorious again. And guys, when you do this exercise, you want to keep the reps high on this. We go no lower than 12.